Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, square A, B, C, D along with this uh, circle with the center O. As you can see in this uh, diagram, and as a result, we get this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, O, B, D. And the length uh, of this uh, diagonal uh, B, D is uh, 8 uh, units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle OBD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, square ABCD whose uh, diagonal is uh, 8. And now we are going to find uh, its uh, side length. Let's assume that this uh, side length uh, of this uh, square is uh, A then all the side lengths uh, of this uh, square are going to be A as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABD, whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase a, lowercase a and uh, 8. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And now let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square wherein our this uh, longest leg uh, is this side uh, c, this our side a and this I'm going to call uh, side b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. We got uh, a square and b is uh, a as well. So this become a square equal to c is 8 whole square. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, a square turns out to be 32. Let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, on the left hand side, this turns out to be a equals to. And now the square root of 32, if we simplify this one, it turns out to be 4 times square root of 2. So therefore, our side length a turns out to be 4 times square root of 2. So thus the side length uh, of this square A, B, C, D turns out to be 4 times uh, square root 2. No wonder I wrote down uh, these uh, side lengths uh, across the board uh, as uh, 4 times square root of 2. And in this uh, next step, I'm going to draw some uh, auxiliary lines. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this uh, point uh, E with this uh, point uh, P that passes through this center O. And I have connected this point E with the point D as well. And in this uh, next step, I have connected uh, this uh, center O with this uh, point of uh, tangency as well. And now let's recall the circle uh, theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be 90 degrees. So no wonder these uh, angles are going to be 90 degrees. Since uh, these are our radii and these are our tangent lines. And since uh, this uh, is our radius, so let me go ahead and label this radius uh, as uh, lowercase r. Then uh, this uh, ED length is going to be lowercase r. And this uh, PA length uh, is going to be lowercase r as well. And likewise, this uh, OP is the radius uh, of this circle as well. So this is going to be lowercase r as well. And now let's make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, is going to be equal to the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, EPBD, as you can see over here, minus uh, the sum of these uh, two individual right triangle area, this uh, right triangle OED area, and this uh, area OPB. So therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, first uh, and then we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, OED and finally the area of uh, this triangle uh, OPB before we could uh, calculate the area of this uh, green shaded triangle. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, EP length uh, is same as this uh, da length which is uh, 4 times square root of 2 so therefore i'm going to write down 4 times uh, square root of 2 and we know that this uh, segment uh, is our radius uh, r so therefore this uh, eo segment length is going to be 
4 times the square root of 2 minus r and moreover this whole length p b is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths so therefore this is going to be 4 times square root of 2 plus lowercase r and here's our next step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this trapezoid epbd and now let's recall the area of a trapezoid formula area equals to height h times a plus b all over 2 and in our case our bases are 4 times square root of 2 plus r and this uh, r and the height uh, is 4 times square root of 2. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So this is going to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2 divided by 2 times uh, I'm going to write down r plus uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 plus uh, r and in this next step I am going to combine the like terms r plus r and at the same time I'm going to reduce uh, this fraction as well. As you can see in this uh, next step, let me go ahead now distribute uh, this one. So therefore, we are going to get uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, r plus uh, 16. So thus the trapezoid area turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 times uh, r plus 16. Let me call this our equation uh, number 1. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, right triangle uh, OED. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to half times base uh, times height. In our case, uh, our base is r and our height is uh, 4 times square root of 2 minus uh, r. So therefore, the area of this triangle is going to be a half uh, times r times uh, 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2 minus uh, r. And now let's go ahead and distribute and uh, simplify. So therefore, uh, this is going to be 2 times the square root of 2 times r minus r square divided by 2. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 2. And finally, let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, OPB. And we are going to use this uh, area of triangle formula, a half time base uh, times height. In our case, our base is uh, 4 times square root of 2 plus r and our height uh, is uh, r. So therefore, it is going to become a half times r times 4 times square root of 2 plus r. Now let's go ahead and distribute and simplify. So therefore, we are going to get 2 times square root of 2 times r plus r square divided by 2. And that is going to be our equation number 3. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation to calculate the area of this uh, green uh, triangle. Here we already figured out the trapezoid and these two other triangle areas. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So the green uh, triangle area is going to be the area of the trapezoid is uh, 4 times the square root of 2 times uh, r plus uh, 16 minus uh, in parentheses the area of this triangle uh, OED is going to be 2 times uh, square root of 2 times r minus uh, r square uh, divided by 2 and the area of this OPB is uh, simply 2 times uh, square root of 2 times uh, r plus uh, r square uh, divided by 2 and now we can see this r square divided by 2 and this uh, negative r square divided by 2 cancel each other out and let's go ahead and uh, add uh, these two like terms. So that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 times r. As you can see in this uh, next step, when we combine these uh, two like terms, we ended up with this uh, one. And now we can see this cancels out with this one. So therefore, we are just ended up with the area of the screen triangle as uh, 16 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green uh, triangle turns out to be 16 uh, square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.